Wow, what a game. It was what so exciting, <laughs> you guys. That was awesome. Yeah, no, you know, not a lot of offense early, a lot of offense late, and this place has just gone nuts in the last hour or so. It's been <laughs> explosive for sure. All right, well, how did it turn out? Here are your highlights. That's right, you saw it on Fox. Giants trying to take a 2-0 lead in the series. Like I mentioned, not a lot of offense early in this one. Second inning, Cody Ross at third. Giants threatening. Juan Uribe going to pop out to center field. So the Giants have a threat there. Go for nothing. Matt Kane, the starting pitcher for the Giants. Unbelievable tonight. Striking out Nelson Cruz here to end the fourth inning. Kane, seven and two thirds. He did not allow a run. Four hits, two strikeouts. He would get the win. Move to the fifth inning. His counterpart, CJ Wilson, looking pretty good himself. Strikeout here on Uribe. A little check swing. And the Texas Rangers, they're looking pretty good. Going to move here to the seventh inning. Juan Uribe, he singles in a run. And uh, we had, our, the Giants had a lead at that point. The Giants actually got on the board with a solo home run by Edgar Renneria. Then Juan Uribe would single in a run. The Giants had a 2-0 lead at that point. Moved to the eighth inning. The Giants explode, as we heard, seven runs in the inning. They got him every which way you could, uh, you could think of. And when it was all over, the Giants had the 9-0 win. 2-0 series lead. They're halfway home to the World Series Championship. You'll have to excuse us. We've got some rowdy fans you know behind what? us. I just they have are. to acknowledge this. As soon as we turn on the lights, That's the right. people just flock to you. I think I have beer all over me. We, we are being doused with, I believe, doused, some championship excited. celebration. They're excited uh, with their giant liquid. Here we and go. And we do want to okay. tell you. Okay, guys. We do want to tell you okay, that. Okay, guys. Usually behind us, excuse me, usually behind us you can see McCovey Cove. Usually behind us you can see McCovey Cove. And I actually had a once in a lifetime opportunity earlier today to go out on the cove and check out some of these cool boats. Let's Take a check listen. It out. If you can't get into the ballpark, this is absolutely the second best place to watch the game right here on a boat on McCovey Cove as the Giants take on the Rangers, game two of the World Series. Captain Paul Dines gave us an exclusive tour of McCovey Cove. Big boats, small boats, row boats. People were swimming in wetsuits last night. People have come in from all over. People are down with their boats from Nevada and Lake Tahoe. When people think of McCovey Cove, they usually think of splash hits and watching Giants games from the water here at AT&T Park. But what most people don't know is that this water here is all that remains of the old Mission Bay. In fact, pretty much all of the buildings and land around us was built on top of rubble from the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. A fun fact, but these fans are looking for a different piece of history. Last night, way more offense than anybody was expecting, especially there in the fifth inning. Are you hoping maybe for a splash hit tonight? I sure am. I don't think with the southerly breeze it's going to happen. I mean, I think that the wind's going to kick up and you're going to see a lot of balls end up in the outfield. Hundreds of people packing the small waterway. It's definitely a safety hazard, but so far, so good. Police say it's just a matter of patrolling the area on jet skis and small boats. Uh, we kind of let it self-regulate to a point where it looks like it's just too dangerous to put any more people in there, and then uh, we shut it off. And while everyone out here is pulling for a big Giants victory, Go Giants! just being a part of the action is good enough for some. It's been a great time, good family, good friends, good area. I mean, if, if they win, that's a bonus, but we're just happy to be here today. Crazy fans that are here. We found a guy from Casterville. This is Elrond. He just wants to say congratulations to his Giants. Go ahead. Go Giants. Oh, Giants, that was magnificent. What a game, too. We were going to go all the way. We drove up from Oak all Hills, and it was worth every minute of the drive. And we're celebrating with the best fans. And this feels different. We're going to go all the way this year. How about those Giants? Yeah. yeah. You know what? They they call Giants baseball affectionately torture. This doesn't seem like torture to these guys right here. This is yeah. this is sheer <laughs> ecstasy for these guys. Sweep. It could be a sweep. So we'll have to wait That's and see right. when they head off to Texas. They're going to Texas games three, four, and five if necessary. Five. Yeah. Coming up uh, this weekend. All right, reporting from AT&T Park, Shannon Hogan. I'm Dave Alley. Back to you guys. Back to you guys. All right.